Just a quick video today to show you something that I came across in Tick Tick that I probably should have known but didn't know for whatever reason. And it actually took me a little while to figure out, so I thought if I didn't know it, that maybe it was worth sharing. So let me show you something over on Tick Tick. So I have my inbox open and I want to add a new task. So let me go ahead and add a high priority new task. Now, let's say that I want this to be high priority. It seems like from here, if I don't know the secret keyboard shortcut, which by the way is exclamation point to put a priority. Uh, but if I didn't know that, I would think, where do I put the priority at? It looks like I can pick the date over here, but if I click this down arrow, uh, here's the priorities. All right, so this is just one example, but tags is another example. So if you didn't know to put a hashtag, which most people probably do know to put a hashtag for tags, uh, you would have to know to come click this down arrow and get to the tag section. Um, but one thing I didn't realize is that this input box actually has settings. So if you look down at the very bottom of this menu, there's input box setting. And if I click that, there's options. And so by default, it's minimalist which is the option that doesn't show you things like uh, the priority flag or the tags and so forth. So the other option over here on the right side is the detailed option. So if I click on that, now you can see I have those icons show up. I'm gonna hit the X over this. So now if I wanted to come in here and put my high priority task, I have that icon readily available. I can just click it and select high priority along with adding any tags. Uh, this is for a list. So which list you want it to go into. And then the calendar icon for the date is still over here on the uh, far left. There's also the three dots over here, which allow you to add an attachment, add from template, or again, change your input box setting back to uh, minimalist. So just thought it was worth sharing because I didn't know you could change your input box settings, uh, but you can, and so you can change it to a more detailed view where you can quickly and easily access things like priority, tags, and the list that your task is gonna go into. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.